We begin today the Gemara on the Afei Meralef for Minayin Sha'af Bishtar. The Gemara continues after it brought the sources for the Kedushan of Kesef and the Kedushan of Bia. Here the Gemara discusses the Kedushan of Shtar. So it's not in the same order as the Mishnah, by the way. In the Mishnah it said Kesef and then Shtar and then Bia, but the Gemara here goes with Shtar afterwards. I think one of the Rishonim masks this. Bia is more Mephudish in the Pasik. Maybe that's why the Gemara brought it before. I think that maybe that's the answer. And then the Gemara brings Shtar. So, what's the source of the Kiddushan of Shtar? So the Gemara says, This is a Kal V'chaimer. If the Kiddushan of Kesef, She'ein Moitzi, Kesef cannot be used for a divorce, to send away the wife. Machnis, but it still it works to be Mekadosh, to bring her in. Shtar, She'moitzi, so a Shtar which is used for a get, to be Moitzi, to divorce her, ain't it din, for sure, it should have the power, She'machnis. We see that Shtar has a stronger power. It's more effective, it can be used for a Gedishin. So for sure, it should be able to be used for the Kedushin. It says the Gemara, no, I can't make this Kavachaymer basically learning out Shtar from Kesef. Why not? Mala Kesef, I find that Kesef is stronger than Shtar. She came by them by Hektish and Maisasheni. When it comes to redeem Hektish and Maisasheni, so how do you redeem any item that belongs to Hektish? You have to give the Gizbar, the Gabai of the Hektish money to redeem whatever item it is. But you can't use star for that. If you give the, the Gabai of the, the Hektish a star and you write in the star that I want to redeem here this Hektish and I owe Hektish this and this amount of money for this item that I'm redeeming. It doesn't work. Right? So from Rashi, it sounds like you're writing to Hektish some kind of a star chayv, that I'm going to owe Hektish this and this amount of money. Or other Rishayim say even without a star chayv. You just write a star to Hektish, a star writing that I am redeeming this and this. It doesn't work. So we see that Shtar has a weakness in that sense. So you can't learn out Shtar from Kesef, and the whole point here is that Shtar is stronger than Kesef, because Shtar works even for a get. But on the other hand, I, say, I see no, that Kesef is stronger. Kesef works in other cases that Shtar does not work. Kesef redeems uh, from Hektish. With Hektish you can't, with Shtar that is, you can't redeem Hektish and Maishasheni. Rashi brings here the Pesach, V'nosan ha-Kesef v'komle, has to be Davka Kesef. Okay, so the Gemara says, the Chsev, oh, the Gemara brings it, sorry. The Chsev, the Nosan HaKesev, the Komle. Amakro, so therefore, the Braise concludes, so this is not a good Kavachaymer, but rather, the, the, the Kedushan, the Kenyan of Shtar is learned from the Pasik, V'yotzav HaHaysa, when it says, the, both the divorce and the Kedushan, it says it together in the Pasik, V'yotzav HaHaysa, she leaves, and then she goes, and she gets married to someone else. Makisha Vayalitzi, so I compare the two to each other. Ma Yitzia, just like when a woman leaves from her husband, <coughs> shtar, it's with a shtar. <coughs> when she comes to get married to someone else, so it's also with a shtar. So that's it. So it's a hekish of a yotzav ahaisa. Frek the Gemara, if we compare the Kedushin to the Gedushin in this Pasik, va'akish nami Yitzia lahavoya. Maybe I should compare them in the opposite to say that Yitzia is when, when she gets divorced, it's compared to the marriage. Ma avoye bekesef, just like she can get married with kesef, af bekesef. So too, when she leaves her husband, maybe it could also be with kesef. The husband gives her kesef, and that would create a divorce. If I have the comparison, the comparison should go both ways. I, I learn kedushin from gedushin. I should learn uh, gedushin from kedushin as well. Amar Abaye, so Abaye says, no, we can't say that the uh, comparison is in this way. Because then, Yoimru, Kesef Machnes, Kesef Moitzi, the same thing, Kesef brings her into marriage, and the Kesef takes her out from the marriage, Saneger, Yase Kateger, the defendant becomes a prosecutor. Meaning over here, the Kesef that brings about the closeness, the marriage, this now brings about the distance, the separation. This, is, this, is not, this can't be the Kavana of the Teireh in the Yatsa Vahaisa, that the same Kesef is used for both. If that's the problem, you say the same thing. Shtar Nami, regarding Shtar as well. You're using the very same Shtar as a, a Kedushin, and, or, or as a Gedushin, that is, to divorce, and you're using also Shtar as one of the ways for Kedushin. So the same Katege, Yasa Sanege, the prosecutor, meaning the one that separates the husband from the wife, is the same thing that becomes a defendant that brings them together in marriage through the same Shtar. So with the same svara, you can't compare Kiddushan to Gedushan. So how could you say that V'yotzev is a comparison? So the Gemara answer is, no, this comparison is okay. 
Because mili the high star lachod, or mili the high star lachod. When you look inside the star, star has words written in it. The content of what's written in the star of a of a divorce of a get and the star for kiddushin is not the same words. In a divorce, it says hare muteres lacholadam. In a star kiddushin, it says hare ya So it's it's not the same exact star. We're using the same concept of a star, and that's what the Hekish is saying, the Yatsav Aisa, but because it's clear that it's a different uh, content in the star, so therefore it works. But he could argue, Hochanami, you can say by Kesav as well, high Kaspalachud and the high Kaspalachud, that the Kesav by the Kedushin and the Kesav by the Gedushin is also <coughs> different. So Rashi says, because when it comes to Kesav as well, when you give the money, you have to give and you say, when you give the money, and here, if Kesav would work for Gedishin, you give money and you would say, so it's money that's being used in a different way as well. It's not exactly the same money. So it's the Gemara, but Tiva Miachat, even if you say when you give her the money, a different thing when you're Makadish or when you're Makadish, but the actual coin, the actual money is the same. Shenkin by the star, the very star itself is a different star. Rava Rav says that there's a different explanation why we can't say that the Vyatsa Vahisa is coming to teach that a woman gets divorced with Kesef because Amakra. Oh, the Pasuk says regarding Gedishin, the Kosav law, that you write a get for the wife to divorce her. B'ksivam is Gadesha, so the Kosav law, the Torah is clarifying that you could only divorce a wife by writing a star, but Venim is Gadesha is Bekesef. You can't divorce her with Kesef. Okay, so you have over here this Vakosav law. There's an exclusion here in this Pasuk. But Ve'eme, why shouldn't I say that B'ksivam mis Gadesha? Maybe the exclusion over here is coming to say different, that you could only divorce with a star, but there's no kiddushin with a star. Maybe that's what the vikas of law is coming to say. Instead of using the exclusion of vikas of law to tell me regarding gedishin itself, that gedishin is only with star and not with kesef, maybe it's coming to exclude that a star it could only be used for a get and not for kiddushin. So the Gemara says no. That can't be, because we have the Hekish mentioned before. We have the Hekish to compare marriage to divorce. The Hekish we said before, that by Kedushin it's also with Heshtar. What do you see to tie to Psukim in this way, to say that we do compare Kedushin to the Gedushin because of the Hekish, and on the other hand, the Miyat of a Kosav law is telling me that you don't divorce with Kesef. You can flip it all around, you can say the exact opposite. Maybe the Yatsa Haisa is coming to say that you could divorce with Kesef, and the Kosov law is coming to say that you can't be Mekadish with a star. And says the Gemara, <laughs> no, Mistavre, because it's logical to say regarding the Posig of the Kosov law, Koi Begedishin, because the Posig of the Kosov law is a Posig that's written and describing Gedishin, Memayit Gedishin. If there's anything that that Posig is teaching, and the exclusion there of that pasuk when it says the cost of law, it's a miut regarding gedishin itself to say that the gedishin has to be only with a ksiva, <laughs> with a star, and not with money. Koi be gedishin umemayit kedushin. Would you say that this pasuk, which is written here by gedishin, the point of this pasuk is to come and give you an exclusion regarding kedushin that you can't be mekadesh with a star? If you have two options, how to learn a miut, it's more logical to say that the miut is something local to describe what the pasuk is speaking about here regarding the Gedishin, and not a Miyot that's coming to explain something else regarding the Kedushin. Says the Gemara, Ola Rabbi Yoisi Aglili. So now this passage we just brought before, the cost of law. So this is the source that Rav says that tells me that there can't be any Gedishin with Kesef. But now according to Rabbi Yoisi Aglili, the Apek Leila Hai Krala Drasha Achrena. Rabbi Yoisi Aglili learns out from the cost of law a different Drasha. As the Gemara brings in, Ge- in Gitten, over there, Rabbi Yosef Gli learns out, because of Lasef is that you can't write uh, a get on an <coughs> animal, on a live being, and other things, he's memai, it has to be in a paper. Or so. so he's, Rabbi Yosef Gli dashes from this Pasuk, other things. So she'enem is garesh, is bekesef, minole. So from where does he know that the, the Gedishin cannot be with kesef, if he can't learn it out from the Kosov law? So the Gemara brings another source. On Makro, the Pasuk says, by the, by the get, Sefer Krisus. That it's the safer that severs the connection from the husband and wife. Safer kursa vein dovach kursa. It's only a safer, the shtar, the get that that creates this gedishin and not anything else. You can't use kesef. Says the Gemara the Rabbanon, the Rabbanon that disagree with Rabbi Yisya Glili, and they learn out this halacha from the Kosovlo, as the Gemara said before. 
So high krisus, my of delay. So what do they learn out from this pasuk here of safer krisus if they don't need it for this drasha that we just said? Says the Gemara, they learn out something else. Mi they learn out from here. Ledava hakaris beinoi lebeino, that when you give a get to the wife, it has to be such a kind of a get that fully severs the relationship of husband and wife. Fully dava hakaris. Now, what does that mean? Because Tanya, as we learned in Abraise, we had this also in Gitten, that. A person gives his wife a get, and he tells her with a condition, on condition that you never drink wine, or on the condition that you'll never go to your father's house. So this is not a crisis. Why? Because now, forever, she's connected to her husband. But if you told her, call Shloishim Yayim, that she does not, she should not drink wine, or she should not go to her father's house for 30 days, then a crisis. Then this is a crisis because it's, there's a condition, but at a certain point, if she fulfills this condition, she's totally disconnected from her husband. So this is what the Rabbana learn out from Sefer Krisis. This halacha that has to be a full disconnect from her husband when you give a get. Now, Rabbi Yaisi Aglili, how does Rabbi Yaisi Aglili learn this halacha? If we just said that according to Rabbi Yaisi Aglili, Sefer Krisis is coming to teach that you could only be Megadish with a get and not with Kesef, so from where does he know this halacha that it has to be a full krisus? Says the Gemara, mikaris krisus kanafkale. And yes, it clearly holds that there's actually two drashis you can learn from this word because the Torah could have said sefer kores, or the sefer severs. It says krisus, an extra sof, it's a, it's a word that's written with an extra drasha here, and therefore I could learn out both things, that, that to be memayit kesef, and also that it has to be a full disconnect to sever from the, from the husband. Rabbanon, the Rabbanon say, Kares Krisus Le Mashmalahu. This, this double drasha here, the Rabbanon disagree. They, they say that Krisus is just one drasha to teach me that has to be fully disconnected from the husband, but there's no, there's no two drashas over here. Okay, so this is the end of the discussion where we had the source of all three of the Kinyanim for Kiddushin, Kesef, Bia, and then Shtar. But now, the, the Gemara before tried to bring various Kalvachimers to learn out Kesef, Shtar, and Bia where you don't necessarily need three different psukim, but you can learn it out with a Kav Chaimer here. The Gemara just tried when we began. The Gemara regarding Shtar. The Gemara said, maybe you don't even need a Pasuk for Shtar. Let's learn out Shtar from Kesef. And the Gemara explained, no, you can't learn out Shtar from Kesef. So now the Gemara says, Chode mi chode lo I would understand that you can't learn out one from one. Meaning I can't learn out that Kesef is a good king for Kiddushin from Shtar alone, or from Bia alone, or... The same thing with any of the other ones. I can't learn out Shtar from Kesef alone, as we explained. I can't learn out Beer from either one alone. But, Taisi, Choda, Mitarti. But maybe I should be able to learn out one from the other two. And the way that, that Rashi explains, the way this limud would be is as follows. Let's say you're going to learn out Kesef from Shtar and Bia. How is that limud going to be? I see that Shtar and Bia are Kenyanim that work in other places, not only by Kedushin. Shtar is a Kenyan that works by... When you want to acquire Oma Ivriya, you can acquire it with a Shtar. Bia works not only by Kedushin, Bia works by Yuvam. So both Shtar and Bia work in other places. And they work here by Kedushin as well. So so too I should compare Kesef with a Memotzinu. I should compare Kesef and say, Kesef is also a king that works in other places. So it should work over here as well. Just like Shtar and Bia are Kenyanim that are effective in other places. And the Torah is saying it works here. So too Kesev, which I see and know is effective in other places. Kesev is a king for other things. It should also be effective over here. That's, that's how I should learn Kesev from Shtar and Bia. And similar Shtar, to try to learn Shtar from Kesev and Bia, as the Gemara here will spell out. So maybe I could learn one from two. One from one we can't because the Gemara before explained there's a Chumre that Kesev has over Shtar. There's a Chumre that Shtar has over Kesev. So you can't compare one to another, but maybe if one from two, maybe here I could learn out. So the Gemara, so hi Taisi, how, how would you learn out? Which one are you going to learn from which two? So let's say, if the Torah would not tell me clearly that Shtar is a king for Kiddushin. And I'll tell you, let's learn out the fact that Shtar works for Kiddushin from the fact that Kesef and Bia work. In the way I described it before. That just like Kesef and Bia are Kenyanim in other places and work here, so to Shtar, I'll compare it to Kesef and Bia and say that they work in other places and therefore Shtar should work here as well. Says the Gemara, but you can't learn Shtar from <coughs> Kesef and Bia. Why? Because there's something unique about Kesef and Bia that Shtar does not have. Malahanoch, when it comes both to Kesef and Bia, Shekain Hana Osam Nerubah, there's pleasure both with Kesef and Bia. 
But, but when it comes to shtar, you don't have pleasure. So therefore, it doesn't have the same nature of a kinyan. So you can't compare them. Another option. If the Torah would not let you know that there's a kinyan of bia for Kiddushin, and you would want to learn out bia from Kesef and Shtar, so then I'll answer you, there's also a certain advantage that Kesef and Shtar have that bia does not have. When it comes to Kesef and Shtar, I find its kinyan applies in many places. As Rashi here brings, anytime you want to buy a property, you can be kinyan with Kesef or Shtar. Or if you want to buy an Evet, you can be kinyan with Kesef and Shtar. Bia is a much more specified kinyan. It's only by a Yevome, by Kiddushan. It's, it's a much more limited kinyan. So Kesef and Shtar is a much more powerful kinyan. So you can't learn out Bia from Kesef and Shtar. The last option the Gemara says, Le'ilichto what if the Torah would not write Kesef by Kedushin? And I would want to compare and learn out Kesef from Shtar and Bia. So just like Shtar and Bia work other places. And it's kind of by Kedushin. So too, Kesef. I would learn out that Kesef works in other places. So it should work by Kedushin as well. So as the Gemara know, we can, I'll tell you, When it comes to Shtar and Bia, I see that they're much more powerful Kenyonim. Why? Because they're a type of Kenyan that even works by Karchach. Against the will. Where is this? Bia by a Yuvama is kind of even against the will of the Yuvama. If there's the relationship between the Yavama and the Yuvama, even Balkarchach, they're, they're married. Darash brings the Pasuk, Vyivma, even against her will. And Shtar, where does Shtar work? Balkarchach by a get. Person divorces a wife, he doesn't need Bechlal her consent for this. So Kesev, though, does not work Balkarchach. I never find that Kesev has that power. So Kesev, in that sense, is weaker than Shtar and Bia. If you'll argue in this and say, Kesef, Nami, Balkarchach, Ba'oma, Ivriya, that you find the king of Kesef also works against the will, where when a father sells his daughter, which is a katana, as a Oma Ivriya, the father doesn't have to have the consent of his daughter, he can sell her even against her will. That shows you that the Kesef works Balkarchach as well. It says the Gemara, but in relation to a Kenyan in, in a marriage or regarding the, the Ishus, regarding marriage, you don't find that Kesev is Balkarchach, but Shtar and Bia you do. Bia by Yvame and Shtar by Yeket. So therefore, Kesev has that disadvantage, so you can't learn out Kesev from Shtar and Bia. So the Gemara, Omar Rav Hone. said, Chope Kaine Mekavachayme. Chope could create the first stage of marriage, the initial Kenyan of Kiddushin, and we could learn this out with a Kavachayme. Now, what exactly is Chope is actually a Machleikas Rishayinim. The Rambam says that Chope is the Yichud, that the wife is brought in by the husband into, into, his, into his house, in a place where they're <coughs> secluded together, even without any Bia. But just the Yichud, that's what Chope is. Other Rishayinim say, similar, that the Chope is he brings her into his home, but not necessarily in a way of yichud. It doesn't have to be with a closed or a locked door. Just the fact that he brings, the, the, brings her into her home, his home. That's chuppah. Okay, so now in our Mishnah it said that the first stage of marriage, Kiddushan, the initial Kenyan is Kesef, Shtar, or Bia. And usually what's chuppah? Chuppah is the Nisuan. Chuppah is the second stage of marriage. After he brings her into his home and now they're fully married. And, and the, the difference is that by the first stage of marriage, she's already an Aishas Ish, but she's still living by a father. And not only is she still living by a father, but her income, her Maisi Yedeha, her the Yerusha, who inherits her, is still her father, not the husband. And so it's, it's, she's Aishas Ish, she can't marry anyone else, but she, she really still belongs to her father to a big extent. Chope is usually the second, second stage of marriage. Once the husband brings her into his house, now he, the husband yarshins her, her income goes to the husband. Okay, but now, Rav Hun is Mechadish, that you could basically skip the first stage of marriage, you could do it all in one. If the husband brings the wife into his house, which is what Chope is, so then it'll, it'll also create the, the initial stage, the Kenyan, and you don't, need, you don't need a ring, you don't need the Kesef Kedushin, you can just bring her into your house, and that will create the whole entire Kenyan as well. And he has a Kavu for this. What's the Kavu Chaymer? Well, Kesef, if when it comes to Kesef, which works for Kedushin, but but after a person is Makadish's wife, the first stage of marriage, she can't eat truma. If she, meaning, if she would be getting married to a Kayan, her husband is a Kayan, she can't eat the truma of her husband, the Kayan. A Bas Yisrael married to a Kayan could eat truma, but not after the first stage of marriage. 
So, Kaina, again, what? She cannot eat Truma, correct. Even though she's an Ashish ish, but she's still living by her father and she cannot eat Truma. So, Kesef, it shows you this weakness that Kesef has that she still can't eat Truma after the Kedushan of Kesef, but still Kaina. Kesef is Kaina, it creates the first Kenyan of Kedushan and she's an Ashish ish. So if when he brings her into his house, so here she becomes 100% his wife and she can eat from Trome. So Chope has that power. And it didn't shatikna. For sure, Chope should also have the power to create the initial Kenyan to become an Ashish So that's the Kalva Chaimah. Is this Kavachayimah true? After the first stage, which is the Kesev, the Kiddushin, she can't eat the Truma from her husband. But didn't Ola say, the is Arusa Bas Yisrael, and Arusa, the first stage of marriage, and she's a Bas Yisrael getting married to a Kayin, she could eat Truma. If a Kayin acquires someone to be with Kesef, acquires someone, so then whoever he acquires can eat Truma with him. And the high, Kayin Kaspai, a wife after the first stage of marriage, is Kayin Kaspai, belong, belongs to him, so she could eat Truma. Now, why, why is the Allah that she can't eat Truma? What's the reason why the, the, she, can't, she doesn't actually eat Truma? This is only a Gzerim the Rabbanon. It's a because since she still lives by her father's house, what happens if her chasm, the kayin, is, is, is going to come and bring Trume and want to sh- feed his wife this Trume, and then she's going to share it with her brothers, with her siblings, because she's there living in her father's house. So Chachamam will gazer that the husband should not give her any Trume. But min ha she could eat Trume. So you can't make this Kabbalah Chaim that Rav Hone here said that Kesef does not eat, that she cannot eat Trume through Kesef and still the marriage takes effect with Kesef. So Chope that could eat Trume for sure should make this Kenyan. But because even by Kesef, you can eat, uh, you can eat Trume. El the Gemara says, Parechachi. The Kabbalah Chaim that Rav Hone says goes as follows. Here the Gemara now is going to start again with Kesef. But eventually the point the Gemara is going to say over here is the Kabbalah Chaim to learn out Chope will be from all three together, from Kesef, Shtar, and Bia. From the fact that I see that Kesef works, Shtar works, and Bia works from all three together, I'm gonna, we're going to try to learn out that Chope should work as well. Let's see. So, the Gemara, so first the Gemara starts just with Kesef. Uma, Kesef like we said before, similar to what we said before. Kesef is not Gaimer. Kesef does not create the second stage of marriage. That aspect of the Kenyan, Kesef cannot do. So again, Rashi explains what's the Gaimer? The fact that the husband acquires her <laughs> to yashin her and also to, for her income. That aspect of the Kenyan, Kesef does not do. But nevertheless, Kaine, Kesef does have the power to do the first stage of the Kenyan, that she becomes an Ashes Ish. Chopesh Gimeres. So Chope, which is always the second stage of marriage, the Chope has the power for, to create that Gemar of the Kenyan, that he'll yashin her and so on. So if it has that power, even more than Kesef, ain't it in Shatikna. So for sure, it should have the power to create the first stage of the Kenyan, like Kesef. That's a Kavachimer. But they should need to the Kesef, the second stage, no? No, only the first stage. Kenyan Kesef is only for, the fir- for Kedushin. Says the Gemara, but you can't learn out Chope from Kesef. Why not? Because Kesef, as we brought already in the beginning of this, uh, the first, the, the beginning of Tafei and Omer Aleph, Kesef has a, a strength, an advantage that Chope doesn't have. Ma'ala Kesef, I'll tell you why Kesef is stronger. She came poidim by Yagdashus and Maishasheni. We see that Kesef could be used even to redeem Hektesh, to redeem Maishasheni, which obviously Chope doesn't fit Bechlal into such a context of uh, redeeming uh, Hektesh and Maishasheni. So I see that Kesef has a greater strength. So you can't say that Chope is stronger than Kesef. Adarabi, here I see that Kesef is stronger. Says the Gemara, be it Okay, so we can't learn out from Kesef alone because Kesef has this strength. So let's learn out from Bia. Right, the same Kabbalah we said before that Bia does not create the, the Gemar of the of the marriage. Bia the Shem Kedushin just creates Kedushin. So for sure, Chope that is Gaimer. For sure, it should create this this Kenyan. So I'm gonna we're gonna learn out from the the Kenyan of Bia. Says the Gemara, Bia as well has an advantage that Chope does not have. 
Malabia she can kind of be Yavama. When it comes to Bia, Bia I see as a king that works elsewhere. It works by a Yavama. Chope is not, uh, does not work by Yavama. Again, as I explained before, Chope and Bia is not the same thing. Bia is the actual cohabitation, and the, the Chope is just the Yichu, the fact that it brings her into his home. So I see Bia has an advantage. It works by Yavama. So how can I learn Chope from Bia? Says the Gemara, Kesef Yechiach. So if I can't learn from Bia because of the advantage that it has, so let's try to learn from Kesef. But you can't learn from Kesef alone because Kesef also has a certain advantage over Chope. The Chazar Hadin and this Kavachaymer between Kesef and Bia goes back and forth. <laughs> the advantage that Kesef has is not the same advantage that Bia has. The advantage that Bia has is not the same advantage that Kesef has. But the common denominator of the two is Shekainen Balma. They're a king that works elsewhere. And it works to the Kenyan of the by um, Yavama, and it works, Kesef works in other places, Bechlal, and the Kainan Khan, and it works over here as the king of Kedushin. Afani Yavi Chope, so I could learn from this Chope as well, Shekainen Balma, Vekainen Khan. That Chope works elsewhere. Where does Chope work elsewhere? For the Gemar, for the conclusion of, for the, for the Gemar of the Yerusha to completely be kind of her. So, so too I could say, Vekainen Khan, that it should work for the first stage of the, of the Kenyan as well. Okay, so this, as you see here in the Gemara, this is what's called a tzad hashave. Now, the concept of a tzad hashave is if I can't learn out one from a, another one place because there's a certain advantage that that other one has, so I learn from two together. What's the concept of learning from two together? Because the advantage that these two have are not the same. So the fact that these advantages, the advantage that Kesef has, the advantage that Bia has, is not the same, what that proves is that the advantage that you found by each one of them can't be the cause of its din. Baharaya, there's something else that does not have the same <coughs> mila, the same advantage, it's still it's kainah. So I must say that there's another, there's a tzad shove that's the cause of their din. What's the tzad shove? Kesef and Bia are kinyana that work elsewhere. And that's the reason why, that's its strength that it can work by Kiddushan as well. Same with Chope. Chope is a kinyan that works for the Gemar, so too that's a strength and that's the reason why it should work for the beginning, for the, for the initial kinyan to make her an Eshesish. So this is the, the Tzad HaShave that Rav Huna said, that Chope is Kaina. So again, Afani Yavi Chope, Shekaina Baum, Bekaina Khan. So now the Gemara asks, and this Tzad HaShave as well, you, you want to learn out Chope from Kesef and be it together. But Malat Tzad HaShave Shubahem, we already said before in Amar Aleph, that when you learn out from Kesef and be it together, you can't. Shekaina and Asam Nerube. These are two things that have a lot of pleasure in them, which Chope does not have. So therefore, they have an advantage that Chope does not have. How can you learn from them? So the Gemara brings in a third thing into the Tzad HaShavah. We're going to learn from Kesef, Bia, and now Shtar as well, all three together, <laughs> that if they work, Chope should work as well. Shtar Yechich. So Shtar will prove to you that Chope should be able to work. Why? Because again, Shtar is the same point. Shtar is a king that works in other places. And Shtar is a, a king that works for Kiddushin. So to Chope. <laughs> I'm going to learn out now Chope from Shtar. That if Shtar works, Chope that works in other places. It works to, for the Gemara of the Kenyan. It should work for the initial Kenyan of Kiddushin as well. Says the Gemara, but you can't learn out from Shtar alone. Ma'al Shtar, Shekei Moitzi B'Vas Yisrael. Shtar has an advantage. We see that Shtar works even for a get. So you can't learn. So Shtar has a strength that Chope does not have. So Kesef and Bia Yechichu. So we're going to be Mechiach. We're going back to the other two, which is Kesef and Bia. And again, V'chazer Adin, Loi Kirizev, Loi Kirizev. Kesef and Bia has a certain advantage. It has a lot of Hano that Shtar does not have. Shtar has a certain advantage that it works for a get that Kesef and Bia do not have. But Atzad HaShav The common denominator is Shekainen Balme. All three of them, Kesef, Shtar, and Bia, work other places, Vikain and Khan, and it works here for the Kenyan of Kedushin. Afan Yavi Chope, so I could learn out Chope as well, Shekain and Baalme. Chope is a Kenyan that works in other places. When is that? For the Gemar, Vikain and Khan. So therefore, Chope should work for the initial Kenyan as well. This is the conclusion of the Kavachaymer of, or really at Tzad HaShavah, that Rav Huna said. So the Gemara asks on this Kav as well, that <laughs> Malat Tzad HaShavah Shubahem, but now you take all three together, Kesef, Shtar, and Bia, there's something about them that Chope does not have. Shekein Yeshnon Bal Karchach, that all three of them can be Bal Karchach. Right, so Kesef, well, first Shtar and Bia, Shtar by Gerishin is Bal Karchach, Bia by Yevom is Bal Karchach, as we mentioned before already, but even Kesef, you also have Valkarchach, at least by an Oma Ivriya, not by an Indian of Ishus, but by Oma Ivriya, a father could sell his daughter with Kesef against her will. 
So this is this refutes the the tzad hashava. Chope, there's no such a thing as chope bal karcho. A person brings the wife into his house if it's against her will. The chope doesn't accomplish anything. But for Rav Hone, Rav Hone will answer you. This is not a refutation to this tzad hashava. Why? Kesef mia beishus leashkacham bal karcho. As we already pointed out before, kesef does not work bal karcho in the framework of marriage. By marriage, kesef only works with the consent of the isha. So therefore, this is not a, a refutation in this tzad shavah to say that kesef, like the other two, work by karchach. Re- regarding ishos, kesef does not work by karchach. So therefore, the tzad shavah still stands. We're learning out that chuppah should be kainah from where? From all three together. From kesef, shtar, and bia. Says the Gemara, Amarav, Narav said on this, Shtei tshuv is bedavah. I'll give you two answers why Rav Hone's halacha is not right. Chada number one, our Mishnah, the Shalishna. And our Mishnah, it says, there's only three ways to acquire a wife. The Dal Leitna didn't say four. Rav Hun is adding a fourth way. V'oid, another point, and here he goes back to the whole Limud, learning out Chuppa from Kesef, or learning out Chuppa from all three. How could you learn out Chuppa from them? Klom Chuppa Gemeres. What was the strength? In this Kavachami, we were trying to say that Chuppa is stronger. Why? Kesef, Shtar, and Bia cannot be Gaiman. They can't do the second stage to, to finish off the marriage. Chuppah has a Kayak that it could finish it off. But that power of Chuppah does not work on its own at all. Chukum Chuppah Gaimeres Elo Al Yidei Kedushin. When does Chuppah work? Only if you have the initial stage, which is the Kedushin first. Chuppah on its own can't do anything. If you have a Kedushin before, then the Chuppah has an effect to finish off what already began in the Kenyan of the Kedushin. So therefore, how can you say we're trying to learn out over here in this Kabbalah to say that Chuppah should have the Koyach to work on its own, to be the first stage of marriage without any Kedushin before it. And you're trying to learn this out. How? Because you're starting off saying Chuppah has a strength. And what's its strength? That it works as the second stage to finish off the Kedushin. And from that, you want to learn how to say that for sure, Chuppah should have a Kayach to start off the whole thing. That Chuppah alone could do the first stage of marriage without anything before it. But we see that Chuppah is dafke, something that comes after the, the first stage of Kedushin. So how, the, the, you, can't, you can't be Mechadash here in this Kabbalah Chaimer to take Chuppah to the first <laughs> stage of the marriage. Amalei <coughs> Abaye. So Abaye answers both of these questions that Rav asked and Rav Huna. Abaye says, The question he had from the Mishnah, the Mishnah said only three and not a fourth, not chope, v'dalt, leit, nan. It's not a question. Because Tana, milsa d'chsiv v'bahad yekitani, what things that are written clearly in the Torah, that he mentioned, so kesav shtar and we brought before the psukim, so therefore he mentions them. But milsa d'chsiv v'bahad yekitani, chope, which is not in a pasik, we're learning it from a kav so the Tana doesn't mention. But there is really a fourth way. Now the question that you asked regarding Chuppah, Klum Chuppah Gemeres, El Al Yidei Kiddushin, that Chuppah only works once you have first Kiddushin. Then Chuppah is just coming to finish off the Kiddushin. So how could you make a Kavu Chaymer from Kesef to Chuppah? The Chuppah has a Kayach to be Gaimer, and Kesef does not have that Kayach. But the whole Kayach of Chuppah to be Gaimer, the question was, only comes after Kiddushin. Otherwise, Chuppah alone has no Kayach Bechlal. So Abaye says, we're going to throw all of that into the Kavachaymer itself here. And the Kavachaymer goes as follows. Ravone nami hachikama. What Ravone was saying was, we can still see a strength in Chuppe that Kesev does not have. Even though Chuppe only works after Kiddushin, it's still a strength more than Kesev. Why? Because Uma Kesev, She'e Negoimer, Acha Kesev. When it comes to Kesev, even if you already gave Kesev for the Isha once, for the first Kenyan, for the initial marriage, to make her an Ish. And then you're going to give her Kesef a second time. And now you're going to say, I'm giving this Kesef with a different intention. The second time he's giving her a second ring, let's say. He's giving her a second Kesef. And now this Kesef should do the second stage. It should finish it off. So nevertheless, it doesn't work. So by Kesef, I see this weakness. Even when Kesef comes after Kedushin, Kesef still can't be Gaimer. It can't create a full marriage. So, but nevertheless, Kaine, but Kesef could create a first stage of marriage. So true, Chupa only works after Kesef. But, but that's still a strength more than what Kesef itself has. And it ain't So we, see, we still see that Chupa is stronger than Kesef. So if Kesef creates a Kenyan, Chupa should for sure have the Kayach to create a Kenyan. So therefore the, the, the Kalvachayim still stands.
We still see a Mila that Chopah has over Kesef, because again, Kesef does not work after Kesef, and Chopah does work after Kesef. So therefore, the Avonah's conclusion is, Chopah could create the entire king and the entire marriage. You don't need any Kesef before. Okay, we don't pass in like Ravona, we pass in like Rav, and like uh, Tzmash the Mishnah, that Chopah is just the second stage of marriage. It cannot create the initial marriage. You have to have the ring, the Kesef Kiddushim first. Okay, moving on now to the Kenyan of Kesef itself. Taner Abonam, we learned Nebraise. Ketzad bekesef. So how is the Kenyan of kesef? Nosan la kesef is shava kesef. A person gives to his wife either kesef or shava kesef. Like the minik today is, you make with shava kesef, with a ring. Vamala arei mekudesh asleep. And then he has to tell her also, arei at mekudesh asleep. Or arei at meures asleep. Another term that means married. Or arei at lili into. You are my wife. So arei zu mekudesh This is how she's married. Aval. But if what happened here is in the opposite way, he should nos na she, she gave him kesef, or she gives him a ring. <laughs> and va'amra he, and she tells him, Hareni mu kudash aslach, I'm married to you. Hareni mu mu'ordash aslach, or hareni lach leintu. Then any mu kudash, it doesn't, then there's no kudush in here. So what we see here in this b'raise is, when it comes to marriage, there's two parts to the marriage. There's the nisina of the kesef, and there's the amira, the statement that you say, avareat mu kudash So the sefer over here of this b'raise is saying, if she does it all, she gives, and she says, and the husband is just standing and receiving and listening quietly, so there's no kiddushin. Huh. Ask if Lord of Pope, so Rav Pope now asks on this Braise that there seems to be a contradiction here. <coughs> because there's a middle case that the Braise is not discussing. Time. Now, when you look over here in the ratio of this Braise, what is it saying? The reason why this kiddushin works is because the Nasan Hu Va'amahu. He gave the money and he told her Arayat Mukadeshas. So what could we understand from that? But if he gave the money and she's the one that said, so it wouldn't work because the Reish is saying both. He has to do everything. On the other hand, what could we learn out from the Seifa of this Braise? That if she did both, she gave the money and she said, then then it's not a Kiddush. So from the Seifa I could learn out, time the Nasnihi Vamrahi. Only reason the condition doesn't take effect is because she did it all. Ha nasan he who that is va amrahi. But if she would give the money, he that is sorry, he would give the money. And va amrahi, and she's the one that says hareni mukedash eslach. So then have a condition. It seems like as long as he gave the kesef, if he gives her the ring, even if she says hareni mukedash eslach, it would still work. So there's a stira here. What happens if he gave and she said? Is it good or not? Says the Gemara reisha dafke. The diak that we learned out from the Reisha, that he must do both, that's Dafka. Seifa, the Allah that it says in the Seifa, and from there you can be Medayik, that if she says it's okay, Kedin Isba. It's just being brought for no reason because really it's, it's not a true Allah. The fact that only if she, he, if she did both, then it's not good, it's not true. Even if she only did one of them, or only the Amira, it, it's also not going to be good. But how could you give such an answer? Is the Seifa going to say something which is a contradiction to the Reisha? You have sometimes the Gemara says that it says a line in a Braisa or in a Mishnah which is just written and not needed. But not in such a scenario where the Seifa is mamish a contradiction to the Reisha. Ella says the Gemara, this is how you have to understand this Braisa. If the husband gave the money and said that Ariyat Mukadesh es la li pshita dava kedushin, then obviously it's a good kedushin. Now, what the Seif is saying is, Nasan hu, he gave the money, but va'amra he, only she said that Ariyat Mukadesh es lach, venase kimish nasni va'amra he. If she's opening her mouth, so then it's as if she did the whole thing, it's as if she gave the money, and it won't be a Kedushan. So the Seifa, when it said, it didn't really mean Nasnihi. It means as long as she's being active, she's speaking, it's as if she gave the money, and it's not a Kedushan. But there's another answer you could say that this middle case where he's giving the money and she's speaking, Okay, so if he did it all, then she's Mekodeshes. If she did it all, then she's not Mekodeshes. He gave the money and she said, Here's Sveikihi. This is the case which is going to be a Sophic. The Chayshin on Midrabana. And therefore, the Rabbana will chayshish for this kedushin. So even though, so there's different pshatim in this in the Rishayim, but it's mashma here in the simple pshat of the Lashon of the Gemara. Even though Menatayra, this is not a kedushin, but mid the Rabbanon, there's a chashash for this kedushin, and she's going to need to have a get mid the Rabbanon. That's the middle case that the Brisa did not mention, and it's a suffix. 
Oh, my Shmuel, my Shmuel said, so we brought up over here regarding to what you have to say when you give the Kesef Kiddushin. So Shmuel clarifies more details regarding the Nusak that you have to say when you're Mekadosh Isha. The Kiddushin, Nasan La Kesef Veshova Kesef. So regarding Kiddushin, if he gives her the Kesef Veshova Kesef, Amalani tells her, Hareya Mekadoshis. You are Mekadoshis. So what's missing here? He missed the word Li. He doesn't clarify that it's to me. Hareya Mekadoshis. Hareya Leimtu. And he misses the word Li. Hareya Mekadoshis. Says Shmuel, she'll still be married, even though he didn't say Li. Now it's not 100% clear that he means to himself. Maybe he's a Shliach to be Mekadosh to someone else, but she's still Mekadosh. But if what happened is he says to his wife, Hareini Isheikh, I am your husband. Hareini Baaleikh, I am your husband. Uh, another lashon of a husband, or Hareini Arusseikh, and Kambes Mechush. Then there's nothing to be concerned about. There's no Kedushin of here at all. Because we'll see soon the Gemara is going to say, Kiyikach means you're taking the wife to you, not taking yourself to your wife. Similar Allah applies regarding Gedish. And he didn't say clearly from me. But even though he didn't specify clearly, but nevertheless, she's going to be divorced. But if he says, I am not your husband, so then, again, there's nothing to be concerned about this get because you have to send away the wife, not send yourself away from your wife. And there's no gedish in here at all, nothing. It's not even a reyach get. There's no, even, she won't even be asatar kain either, Rashi says. This is the halacha that Shmuel said. So now, what's the point of Shmuel's chiddish? When a person is Makadish's wife and he misses a word, he says, but he forgets the word li, Still, it's clear enough for us to say that he's trying to say that you're married to me, even though I didn't specify it. When you have a handle of something, and it's not clear, this is a good handle. So if you remember this concept, we had it in the Gemara, and the and Nazar, when a person says an incomplete statement. So it's like when you're grabbing hold of something, from, with a handle, you don't have the whole entire keli in your hands, but it's, it's not 100% clear, but it's leaning in a certain direction. That's good enough. And over here as well, when he says, without the lead, even though it's not clear, but it's, it's good enough to say that he probably means to himself. Is that the opinion of Shmuel? But Vatanam, we learned in the very first mission of Masech the Nazir, a person says, I will be. So he'll be a Nazir. The question is asked on that. How do you know he means I'll be a Nazir? Maybe the word he means not that I'll be a Nazir, but it means that I'm going to fast. So it's not a clear statement. Now the Rishayim point out, it makes more sense to say that a he means Nazir than Tainus. Because a Tainus, if it's the middle of the day and the person might have eaten something, so it can't mean that I'm going to fast today. A he, I will be, it leans more towards saying that he's going to be a Nazir. But it, it is still possible that he means Tainus. So Shmuel says, you're right, it's not clear enough. When it says in the Mishnah that a hey makes him a Nazar, it has to be that a Nazar was walking by right in front of him. So then it becomes 100% clear what he means to say. So what do we see? What's Shmuel's opinion? The only reason that a hey makes him a Nazar is because there's a Nazar walking by. So now it's Michichais, it's clear what he meant. But otherwise, he won't be a Nazir. So over here, regarding Kedushin, shouldn't Shmuel hold the same thing? That Hadei Atmuk Kedush is without the Lee, is not clear enough, and it shouldn't work. Okay, so let's just finish off this thing. Answers the Gemara. So you're right, you have to say over here that Shmuel, he did say Lee. To change the version of what Shmuel said. He said a perfect Lashon, Hadei Atmuk Kedush is Lee. So what was the Chiddush of Shmuel in this? Says so the Gemara, you're right, and that is no Chiddush. Hani lishni basroi kamash mulan. The Chiddush is regarding the later Lashainis that Shmuel said that they do not work. Why not? Because Hocha Ksiv by Kedushin, the Titus says, Ki yikach, that you're taking the wife to you. So that's why he said, Re'em o Kedushas li. Veloishi yikach asatzmai. Not that you take yourself to her. You can't say, I'm your husband. And Vahach Ksiv, and similar, by Gedush in the Titus says, Vishilcha. You send her away, and not you say that, that I'm sending myself away, that he's sending away himself from her.